Today's lesson is Chapter 1, Section 4. And our first example <coughs> is to solve 11x minus 9y equals negative 4 for y. Then find the value of y when x equals negative 2. So the first part of this problem is to take this literal equation, literal equation meaning there's more than one variable in it, and isolate y. So the first thing we need to do is move the x term to the other side of the equal sign and get our y term alone. So we'll subtract 11x from both sides. So we're left with negative 9y on the left. And on the right we have a x term, negative 11x, and a number, negative 4. They're not like terms, so we can't combine them. Okay, now we need to undo the multiplication to get y completely alone, so we'll divide both sides by negative 9, distributing on the right, so we're really dividing every term by negative 9. And simplify, so we have 1y on the left. Negative divided by negative on the right leaves 11 ninths x. And another negative divided by negative leaves a positive 4 ninths. So y equals 11 ninths x plus 4 ninths <coughs> uh, is the first part of our problem. And now the second part, we're going to uh, solve for y when x equals negative 2. So since we've already isolated y, we'll use the new form of our equation and we'll substitute in negative 2 for x. and simplify on the right by first multiplying and then adding. So we want to multiply numerators here. 11 times negative 2 is negative 22 over 9 times 1 or 9. So negative 22 plus <coughs> ninths plus 4 ninths. We have a common denominator so we can add our numerators and put them over our common denominator. Negative 22 plus 4, there's more negatives than positives, so we get negative 18 divided by 9, so y is equal to negative 2. So when x is negative 2, y is also negative 2. Okay, in the next example, we want to solve a equals 1 half the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times h for b sub 2. Then find the length of the other base of a trapezoid if the length of one base is 13 centimeters, the height is 10 centimeters, and the area is 105 square centimeters. So this happens to be the formula for the area of a trapezoid, and we want to isolate b sub 2 in this formula. So you can see that there's a fraction in our formula. So the first step would be to clear this equation of that denominator 2. And we can do that by multiplying both sides of this equation by 2. So that on the left we have 2a. And on the right, because of our commutative property, we can multiply 1 half times 2. And those are reciprocals, so they're just going to give us 1. So we're left with b sub 1 plus b sub 2, the quantity, times h. Okay, <clears throat> now if we're solving for b sub 2, we want to undo this multiplication. So now we'll divide. We'll divide both sides of this equation by h to get our sum alone on the right-hand side. So we have 2a over h equals, h is cancel on this side, that's a form of 1, so we're left with b sub 1 plus b sub 2. Okay, and now to get b sub 2 alone, we just want to subtract b sub 1 from both sides of the equal sign. So, 2a over h minus b sub 1 is what b sub 2 is equal to. 
Okay. Now in the second part of this problem, we're going to use our new form of the equation and we're going to solve for one of the bases by substituting in 105 for the area of this trapezoid. And for H, we're going to substitute a height of 10, 10 centimeters. And we're going to subtract the length of one of the bases, 13. Okay, so simplifying on the right, we can cancel this factor of 2, goes into 10 5 times. Okay, and then we can cancel this factor of 5 because it goes into 105 21 times. So it looks like we're left with 21 minus 3, 13, 21 minus 13, or 8. So to answer the question now, uh, find the length of the other base uh, of a trapezoid. That length would be 8 centimeters. Okay, in this example, it says to solve for y, then find the value of y when x equals 3. So we'll take this literal equation, 2xy minus 5y equals 8. Okay, look at what we have. We have y in two terms, and we want to solve for y. So our first step is going to have to be to use the distributive property and get y out of those two terms. That's going to leave 2x minus 5 in parentheses. And we'll always check this step by distributing. y times 2x is 2xy, and y times negative 5 is negative 5y. So we haven't changed the value of anything, but now we have 1y. And to get it alone, all we have to do is undo this multiplication and divide. Divide both sides of the equation by that difference, 2x minus 5. So that difference cancels top and bottom on the left. We're left with 1y, and it's equal to 8 over 2x minus 5. Okay, second part of this problem is to now let x equal 3 and solve for y. So in for x, we'll substitute 3 and we'll simplify. So we have 8 in the numerator and in the denominator we have 2 times 3 which is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1 and 8 divided by 1 is 8. So when x equals 3, y equals 8. Okay, in this example, <coughs> you are selling two types of hats, basic and fancy. Write an equation with more than one variable that represents the total revenue. And then after we write our equation, uh, we're going to use that equation because you expect to sell 125 basic hats at $8 each. To meet your goal of $1,600, what would you need to charge for fancy hats if you can sell 50 fancy hats? Okay, so we want to write an equation um, for total revenue. So let's let R, capital R, equal our total revenue. And we're selling basic hats, so let's let B equal the number of basic hats that we sell at a cost of X dollars for each basic hat. So we'll multiply to get the total revenue for just the basic hats. And then we'll let F be the number of fancy hats sold at a cost of Y each. So that product will be the total revenue for the fancy hats. And if we add them together, we'll get the total revenue, revenue overall. Okay, that's the first part of our problem again. And then the second part is um, to find out how much we need to charge for fancy hats. So we know total revenue. We know we want to make $1,600. That's our goal. Okay, we know the number of basic hats, 125. And they're being sold for $8 each. We know the number of fancy hats, 50, 
and what we're looking for is the cost of a fancy hat. So we're solving this equation for y. So first step <clears throat> is going to be to multiply on the right. And 8 times 125, that's 40, 16, 20, it looks like 1,000. Okay, we want our y term alone, so we'll move the 1,000 to the other side. We'll subtract it from both sides of this equation. So 1,600 take away 1,000 is going to leave 600. And we have our y term left on the right hand side. Undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by 50. I know on the left hand side here I can cancel a factor of 10 top and bottom and it's 60 divided by 5 or 12 is equal to y. So if y equals 12 we can answer our question to meet your goal uh, of $1,600, what would you need to charge for fancy hats if you can sell 50 fancy hats? That charge would be $12. Include in your notes of this video guided practice problems 2 through 12, even problems only, found on pages 27 and 28 of your textbook.